It would be like Pac-Man, but one person is playing as the ghost. Yeah. Oh, they Pac-Man. have that. They had a multiplayer Pac-Man. Yeah, oh, I, it looks really good. It you is. Know, it's the fun. Problem, the problem with all of the games that are set after Wind Waker is that they just keep having to make up ridiculous new villains because Ganondorf is dead. Well, Ganon keeps coming back anyway, so it doesn't... doesn't like, they, there is, they, have, they have basically eliminated all ways for him to come back because he's at the bottom with, a sword, with the Master Sword in his head, and then they're in a totally different part of the world now. They're not even in Hyrule. Mm. So, like, even if he were to come back, it would just be he'd be in the middle of the ocean and have no idea where any other people are. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's magic, so I don't know. That there's, but they there's don't like, really have a real timeline. That's the thing. I mean, it's been rumored that they do and all that, and people have tried to figure out, but they really don't. And And even if they did, they could just make up whatever they wanted anyways. I mean, you don't have to have a connecting story, really. It would be nice, but... I don't I know. I mean, there's definitely some of them you know. Like, you know that uh, yeah. uh, the mask is after Ocarina of Time. Yeah, 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 because you're and trying you know to that, find... You know yeah, that, does, he find, does he find Navi or what? What's the deal? <laughs> you know that Twilight Princess is after Ocarina of Time's yeah. childhood story because they arrested Ganondorf and you see his trial. Yeah. Right. And you know, Wind Waker is after the adult timeline in Ocarina of Time because of all of yeah, the... Yeah, that's the timeline. Yeah, that's the timeline, right, right. You know, so, you, there's definitely some... That's what the MMG should be. It should be decide whether or not the Zelda has a timeline and, like, put it in order, and then if you do, you win. <laughs> 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 Every time it yeah, changes. Yeah, but that, that would be on the that would be on the wiki within an hour. Well, no, but it changes. It's random every time or something. I don't know. <laughs> Figure out a rift puzzle somehow. I don't know. Whatever. Those rift puzzles are uh, really hard. Color changing tingles. Love balloon trip. I was I was sad that that did not come to uh, in, any English speaking territory. You know, I I was too, and then I found <laughs> it, I found it online, and I, I emulated it on my on my DS emulator, and it's a really awful game. <laughs> That's really sad because the first one was. What about be- there? There wasn't there a uh, what's her name uh, before she come becomes Zelda in Wind Waker? Tetra. Tetra game wasn't there a Tetra game? Well, there was Tetra's Trackers, which was on the Japanese version of Four Swords Adventures, but that was just a multiplayer, like, collect a... It was like a stamp hunt minigame. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And they, they didn't translate it because it was entirely based on using specific characters from the Japanese language, which just didn't tra- translate. Right, all right. All right. But see, there, there you go. You could, have, you could have... Okay, remember Marin from uh, uh, Link's Awakening? She could come. She could be a seagull, and then there could be somebody that casts a spell on her to make her human. So that could be a character. Then you could have Zelda. Then you could have Link, and then you could have who would be the last? Either Impa or somebody else. I don't know. Sarah also not exist. Like she was part of the wind. No, Rangers. no, she became a seagull because the wind, the windfish made her real. Oh, yeah. I, like I said, that's the only one that I didn't play. So yeah. well. In my mind, that's how it works, so whatever. Maybe the last <laughs> one would be Ganon, and Ganon would be, like, on your side to fight somebody new. Right? There would have to be somebody really evil if it put Ganon on your side. Yeah. It would be Majora's Mask and, um, um, the... What? That happens sometimes. You Vod- like Vody, Vody gets the Majora's Mask and put it, puts it on or something. Did you ever play Lunar Knights? No. That's how the, uh, the ending of that game goes down, actually, where you, you fight through the entire game to beat the, the villain, and then this other big bad guy shows up and kills the villain, and then the secret ending, he revi- he's revived, and the villain's like, so, uh, how about that, that other guy? Let's, let's, team up. let's team up. Let's be friends now. <laughs> your main it's just character- like a Chrono Trigger, too. Yeah, yeah. So your, your main character subverts it and basically just flips in the bird. Wow. So yeah, no, Chrono, uh, Chrono Cross, don't you mean Chrono Cross, where the bad guy becomes good? No, that's uh, a Magus in Chrono Trigger. Yeah, Magus. Yeah, but Chrono yeah. Cross, you actually play as the bad guy, and he kind of is good. Well, that's because he switched bodies with you. Well, yeah, but, yeah, well, yeah. 
<laughs> that just that just that's that's kind of a weird thing because he he used to like when he was a kid you met him already right when he, in the future and then you come back to the past and he, because and he's, he's not like, and he's not cross is weird. <laughs> When it, well, Magic isn't actually evil. You just don't understand what he's doing. And then once yeah. he understands, you're like, oh. Uh, really, you're the evil ones until you understand what he's doing, and then he joins your party. Yeah, right. Golden then, Sun oh. is like, dude, you spent the entire first Golden Sun trying to stop the lighthouses from being lit. The entire imagine, imagine a crossover between Zelda and a Chrono Cross Trigger series. Oh, jeez. That because was, Zelda doesn't have enough time travel. Already. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't. You know, you do that. What I, I want... Did you, did you see the uh, EGM April Fool's Day joke for uh, Mushroom Kingdom Hearts? Oh, no. <laughs> I did not. i got to look at that. Yeah, they they did a, they just were like, well, it's going to be on the Wii, and it's going to have Nintendo World in addition to uh, <laughs> I was like, wow, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. We should why that exist. <laughs> they should do that except no Kingdom Hearts elements. It's just Mario going through all the different worlds in Nintendo. <laughs> like you have to go you have to go to freaking Brain Star. Exists, and it's called Adventure Mode in Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah. Except you Does don't really go ever you, you end? Don't go to other places. Does the adventure mode like ever freaking end? Because it seems to just go on and on forever. Uh, you know, I liked Melee's adventure mode better than Brawl's. I thought Brawl's... Oh, the, the subspace emissary? Yeah, that thing... But the subspace that's... emissary went on for way too yeah, long. Yeah, it's like, it I'm still doing long. it. It's not... It's not level was the same. It's not, a, it's not over. It's still there. It's, it's like, no matter how much I beat it, it's still there. Yeah, and every level was the same. Uh, the bosses were really cool. They were, but they, some of them were really easy, too. Just yeah. too easy. Like, I... And the cutscenes were really cool. I would rather have watched a three-hour movie of cutscenes of Nintendo yeah. characters fighting each other than play through the Sunset Cemetery. And all the, the teams that, that were gathering together, I mean, Marth and Meta Knight, that's like the coolest team anyone could ever think of from from any two Nintendo games. Yeah, I actually, when, they were, when that was coming out, a picture was circulating of the Marth, Ike, Meta Knight team. Yeah. And it was like, which I, think, I think Link's still is the best. Just, but the caption was, which one of these characters doesn't fit between Marth, Meta Knight, and Ike? And Ike. the answer was, yeah, what? Ike. No, the answer was, uh, was I mean, because it's two Fire Emblem characters and a Kirby character. So you'd think, well, oh, it's Meta Knight. But the answer, like, the, the troll answer was, it's actually Marth because he's the only one with a silver sword and not a gold sword. Huh. <laughs> I never right. really thought I fit in in Brawl though. He was just, I mean, I would have much rather they kept Roy or even put in Ellie Wood instead. What's kind of weird is that Link has also been in the uh, Soul Sword game. Oh yeah, he was in Soul Caliber. Soul Caliber, yeah, whatever he was. And he kicked butt. I mean, he just pwned in that game. I was like, he was I, good. I win. He was better than. What did the other consoles get? Uh, uh, they got Hihachi and uh, Spawn. Oh. Yeah, and like Link I didn't care the about them because I, I was like, no, I'll Link, whatever, boom, I win. <laughs> well, see, like at the time, I didn't have a GameCube, so I had to settle for Hi Hachi, and it was just awful. I I didn't well, like it at all. Fun though. So in the end, MMG sucks and Zelda rocks. The end. Okay, I'm gonna say. Well, 